what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here again with the Foreman fam and we are giving the remaining household members a makeover. So we've already done Clem. She recently aged up from a child into a teenager so she definitely needed a glow up sesh and let me just tell you you guys you definitely need to see the video if you have not. Also happy to 1000 freaking 18. I don't know if Clem's makeover uh, video on her room is going to come up before this one or after this one but in case it doesn't and I decide to put this one first happy video first video or second video of 2018 I don't know what it is about this year y'all but I feel like it is going to be the year every time I've heard somebody like toast to 2018 they always talk about it being like prosperous and positive and all of these types of things and I really hope that it is although YouTube has had a really rough start in 2018 <laughs> Logan Paul I do have high hopes that the remaining of the year should go without a hitch. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I'm sick. How are you? Fantastic. Let's move on. So in the last episode of the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, I saw a few comments mentioning how Pace hasn't aged into a adult yet and we should do that. And we also should, also should add some signs of aging to June and Pace. And you guys, I can't believe what I've done. Oh my God. Okay, so my way um, of showing signs of aging was basically making Pace into a silver fox. I really love this hairstyle with like the little gray accents because it does show that he is aging and yes he is getting gray hairs but it doesn't like make it so apparent to where it's like <laughs> boy you need to pick up a kit of you know like fast dye and like cover up that ish because I don't know there's like a certain there's there's a certain element of like mystery and sexy also paired with this beard. I I feel like it just implements the right touch of aging that I am trying to portray. So I decided to also make his, you know, outerwear match his appearance and he did get a little bit of a, a dad up, just, 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 just a titch. Um, I decided to make him look a little more sophisticated, mature, that sort of a deal. And you guys, I'm really in love with the way that Pace looks. I really, 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 really am. I didn't add wrinkles or anything because the wrinkles that I have just don't, in my personal opinion, mirror the age that he is. And to be quite honest, I'm not really sure that even the gray hair uh, really mimics that neither because he's still like what? He's probably in his, okay, if Clem is what? 15, 13, something like that. He's probably in his 30s, so I mean, I guess he would start getting some gray hair. His dad did gray, uh, gray prematurely too, so yeah, I do think where he's at is kind of like right on par with, with the age that he truly is. Anyway, June, on the other hand, was extremely, extremely hard to do because A, she's pregnant, and B, I don't want her to age, y'all. I am so attached to my little June bug. To see her becoming more mature and more older, it just breaks my heart because it's basically me having to face the music that she's not going to be here forever, y'all. And then the next phase of her life is being an elder. Um, so I wanted to make her look a little more mature. Um, but I wasn't really sure on how to execute that. So if you have any suggestions for me in the comments down below, because I still feel, although I did try to update her style, I still feel like she does look relatively young. Even though she's supposed to be older than Pace, she actually looks younger than Pace. And that's, that's pretty normal, right? I mean, sometimes in relationships, girls or females who are older than their, their spouses sometimes can also look younger. So that is totally fine. And here she is rocking my brand new winter lip kit. Hey! <laughs> I love this shade of red on her. Um, I do believe this is my classic red. Um, I sound like I'm such a freaking like I don't even know. I'm totally like promoing myself up right now, but I did recently put out a brand new lip kit and if you guys are interested in downloading this, the only requirement for the time being is that you have to have get together because I'm still a custom content making noob and I do not know how to make my uh, base game mesh not be so damn glossy. Like it seriously alters the entire 
lipstick using just the base game um, template. So if you guys know how to fix that, let me know in the comments down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, and then I can convert my lip kits into base game friendly, but until then, you need to get together. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. I suck. I suck. I really do, though. Like, <laughs> every night. Anyways, um, so let's just talk about where we are now in this makeover because it was going it was going somewhere a little freaky. We, 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 we're on the brand new YouTube system. We can't be talking like that, y'all. Uh, we are going to do um, some new jammies. June has been wearing her sprinkle pajamas forever. And I felt like, you know, although she really does love sprinkles, donuts, and sweets, and she really just like, you know, shows it all off when it comes to her sleepwear, I wanted to just switch it up, so I did. And I really like her little donut. Like her donut tank, that's so cute. And then her little sweatpants, totally adorbs. So for this last outfit here, um, her party wear, I really, 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 really love this sweater jumper with the scarf. I hope I kept the tights. I'm not sure that I did, but they have like little hearts on them that are so freaking adorable with these little cowboy boots. I'm trying to think comfort here, people, because she is pregnant. And then also I wanted to pair um, these like kind of wet knee high socks too. I love this hair. I don't know what you guys are smoking, but I love that hair. I guess you are right though. It does not match her natural hair color whatsoever, but I wanted to cut her hair and make it short again because I felt like that did age her up a little bit. Um, and again, I don't really have like a lot of tools and materials available to make her look older without giving her wrinkles. And I don't feel like that is really uh, um, something she would have at her age right now, like to that severity. But I definitely tried to use more like aging techniques like darker lipsticks and darker colors, more mature pattern solids, those sort of things. And at the end of it, I still really love the way that she turned out. And she is a far cry away from the little girl that she once was in city living. So last but not least, we have my babies. We have Nixie and Maddox, AKA Maddie. Um, I decided just to add in an extra outfit, something that they could like switch off with. And again, if you guys don't know, Nixon is very chill, very toned down, very like athletic um, when it comes to his styles. He's just, he likes to be cozy and comfortable. He isn't really too perplexed with looking fancy or snazzy, whereas his brother, Maddox he is all he's always dressed to the nines and I love that about them they are very different in that aspect like one has an appreciation for fashion and the other one honestly could care less and that's what makes them so dang unique so I think I wanted to switch up his um his party wear with with I really liked this hat I really did I don't know what kind of hat this is but I like it a lot and um I like I like his outfit you know I'm not too in love with it to be honest but I felt like it was different and it was it was pretty sweet so anyway just last thing before I go is anybody else having a problem with create a sim where you create a sim and then sometimes they get stuck and you go to save and it's just like this endless loop and nothing let me know in the comments down below and I hope you guys liked this video if you did you know what to do don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and I will see you all next time.